Welcome to the mini clinic dedicated to seated postures. The average American adult sits for more than six and a half hours a day. Over time, this can lead to lower back pain, poor circulation, and congestion of the lower organs. So let's learn how to counter this with yoga. Seated postures are often overlooked as part of our yoga practice, but they are very important. They help prepare you for meditation, strengthen your core, and are essential bookends to a complete yoga session. Today, I will show you three variations on seated postures. So grab a couple of yoga blocks or cushions and let's meet on the mat. We will begin by exploring our three poses on our backs in a supine position. Make your way to your back by slowly rolling down to the floor. Take a nice deep breath while stretching your arms behind you and your feet in front of you. Lengthen and extend from your toes to your fingertips. As you exhale, float your arms down beside you with palms facing down for stability. Bend your legs one at a time, placing the soles of your feet on the mat. Now notice how your lower back feels. It should be flush against the floor. To help with that alignment, lift your pelvis towards the ceiling and then intentionally roll your lower back down to the mat. Take another deep, nourishing inhalation. Exhale and lift your feet off the floor. We are now in a supine variation, Vajrasana, or Diamond Pose. Point and flex your feet a few times. Let's extend our legs, one at a time, so that the soles of our feet are parallel to the ceiling now. This is our supine expression of Dandasana, or Staff Pose. Press your palms into the floor as you begin to draw small or large circles with your feet. Coordinate your breath with the motion as you massage your lower back with this warm up. Now switch directions for a few more breaths as you feel your abdominal and thigh muscles engaging. Return to stillness and just breathe here for a moment with your legs elevated. This posture can help improve your circulation by redirecting blood flow back to your heart. From here, cross one ankle in front of the other and bend your knees as you move into supine sukhasana, easy pose. Place the palms of your hands on your knees and breathe. The next time you exhale, Lift your head off the floor so you are now in the shape of a ball. Begin pumping your feet as you start to rock backward and forward. Continue this motion until you roll up into a seated position. You are now in easy pose, which despite its name doesn't always feel easy for a lot of people because we've become so accustomed to sitting in chairs. This weakens the abdominal and back muscles, so it is important to try sitting in easy pose daily. Try using props to help you here. I like to sit on a block or cushion to elevate my hips in easy pose. Others may find it useful to place a block under each knee for added support. You can also try sitting like this up against a wall. With practice, your core will strengthen and your body will find more comfort in this posture. Now let's extend our legs one at a time to move into Dandasana, Staff Pose. Root yourself to the floor through your sits bones and elongate your spine 
reaching the crown of your head towards the ceiling. Your feet should be actively flexed with palms facing down on the floor. Now plant your palms on the floor behind you and lean back as you bend your legs. Place your feet on one side of your body and then lean forward to position yourself into table pose with a flat back. Inhale and as you exhale, sit back on your heels. For our final seated posture, we will explore Vajrasana or diamond pose. Play around with props to find comfort in this posture too. Maybe you prefer to open the knees here. Try using a block or two to relieve pressure on your ankles. This posture helps promote healthy digestion. An important aim of your work in seated poses is to support easeful breathing in meditation with a long spine. Sitting in this way strengthens the very same muscles that chairs weaken. So ditch the chair from time to time and reconnect with your body on the floor. Namaste. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my videos on YouTube.